Winter Wonderland here. Yeah, about damn time I started filming again. At this time, we've got some of my favorite types of blades. Let's abbreviate it, BSBs. Big, sharp buoys, both by Cold Steel. And these are actually two of my favorite knives. In the red corner, if you've seen a previous video, you'll know this is one of my champion blades. The VG-1 San Mai Trailmaster with a nine inch blade, full convex grind, made in Japan. This was a crate on hell that just went straight off. I decided to build it up to make it a coffin handle to, to make it more stable in the hand. And in the blue corner, a Challenger, making its first appearance on my channel. No swedge on a buoy, that's weird. Another nine inch blade, full flat grind, all one piece construction, a 52100 steel is the cold steel drop forged buoy. I forget if this was, this one was released in 2020 or 2021. It doesn't really matter. We're also gonna try getting as much mileage as we can out of this stick here. First up, of course, what do you do with a big knife like that? You chop with it, baby. Whoa. Oh man, love it. And as you can see, I'm wearing the knives. I don't really have to say anything because they're both Securex. They're both Securex sheaths, I mean. So it's the exact same sheath almost. One's just made for a different knife. Next up. Wait, why am I doing that? Eesh. I should probably mention that a lot of the stuff is kind of frozen. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just not able to say anything. Oh boy. It wasn't as good because this is way lighter. Now, some drop tests. Nice. Another one, the other one. You could probably hear the difference. This is way lighter. Okay, I can get my baton. As I said, we're getting as we're gonna try to get as much mileage as we can with this single piece of wood. It's a pretty long one. This is already like six meters or twenty feet. It's all a knotted piece, but that's fine. I'm gonna break that off so I can use that. It's almost perfect. Put that up so it doesn't get wet. This is way more organized, actually. Keeping them on my hip like that. This might be something I need to do. All right, next up. This might not be as fair because it doesn't have a knot like the other one did. Finds a little bit, and they both went to the side actually. Let's try that again. Same pieces, but I'm gonna try to have them not go to the side as much. This time I'm gonna start at the side with the knot. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Nice clean split, relatively speaking. Again, we're working with what we got here. And I feel like we're gonna get quite a bit of mileage out of this one stick. <sighs> Gotta say, I do. A lot of people say they don't like the handle of this drop force or the pistol handle, but I like it well enough. Okay, this doesn't go to the side as much, I think, because it's just so much thinner. Now. We're gonna try making a fire with these. Oh, I'm so used to that. So used to do okay, with the spine facing away because I'm usually wearing my blade on my right side.
Not the easiest to do with this frozen wood. I don't even know what type of wood this is, so it might not be the best. Let's try this again. Why am I not using the piece I split off? Let's see if that'll work. Oh, wow. Here's in the way. That's what I get. I thought this was a good return for the Trailmaster on my channel. It hasn't been in a video in quite a while. So it was about time I gave one of my favorite blades some love. That's the feathers we got. Now we're going to see if I can light it up. A lot of this stuff is wet and frozen here, so we're going to give it a try. I'm just going to... Almost had it that time. We're trying to finish stuff. Oh boy. I don't have any fat wood on me, do I? Nope, I did not bring it out. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> Stuck on the spine. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? We're just gonna. Spine on this trail master is out of this world. I'm gonna cut that off because I'm gonna use the same piece for feather sticking with the other one. Okay, that piece fell off. There. That is wonderful with that spine. Well, that was the strategy. So we're gonna keep going because I want to get a proper little fire. I'm getting mostly the bark here, so hang on. Let's see how well I can deep bark. We're adding new facets this time. Snow fires are not nice, are not fun. I'm just going to come out there and say it. Almost. Almost had it. Well, we did get a fire. Oh, here we go. Okay. We did get a fire. Okay. Small, but... I wonder if it's because I didn't do as good of a job sharpening this lately as I should have. Not too worried this time because there's snow all around. But still. But still stamp it out for thoroughly. Next step, finally. Wow, I think because it's just so much thinner and finer. Wow, that is actually making really nice curls. I don't know, maybe I'm just not so good with this sort of thing. That should have been evident. That should have been evident. By watching these videos, that should be evident that I'm not good at this. Alright, we're going to try this. Without the... <sighs> Completely different problem. The spine is not very good. 
The spine on that sucker is not the best. Okay. Now I need to cut off some thinner stuff, so I'm just gonna here we go. Now then we got some parts here. First I'm gonna cut this because we got smaller. Definitely very easy for smaller stuff. Now the trailmaster. Again, super easy. Now we're just gonna be carbon points, so we're gonna make a point with each. We're gonna chop this off. Super easy. Oh my gosh, it destroyed the point. Oh geez. Can I hold it still? Even I could falter on the cold. Even, my, even with my Neanderthal DNA. Yeah, Caveman J. Caveman Jamie confirmed. That's the point we got. Again, a lot of this stuff is frozen, so. Alright, next up. You know, actually, I'm going to cut it off on the same side because so, it's much thicker. That bites really well, though, I gotta say. Yeah. It's really cold here. I keep accidentally chopping off the point. So good at this. Well, it can get a point, but not the best. For self-defense, well, it's either's game. You got a more powerful chopper with this one and an actual clip point, so you thrust better. This one has that pistol grip, which is definitely a fighting tool. But who's gonna win this rumble in the tundra? Well, the challenger brought a pretty good fight, but in the end, the white lion takes the gold. The trailmaster is the winner. Hope you enjoyed. Links are down below. Thank you for watching.